Hello kids, in this video we are going to do some exercises on Roman numerals. We are going to learn how to write a number in a Roman form and its vice versa. I know sometimes it gets confusing when it comes to rules related to Roman numbers. There are repetition rules, addition rules, subtraction rules and they might get complex to remember. I'll teach you a method using which you can easily write a number in its Roman form without worrying too much about the rules. Before jumping on to the exercises, let's quickly summarize what different symbols stand for. So I stands for 1, V for 5, X for 10, L for 50, C for 100, D for 500 and M for 1000. Okay, time to teach you a trick. So every time you see digit 4 or 9 in a number, think of writing it in terms of a subtraction. So for example, 40 can be written as 50 minus 10. Similarly, 900 can be written as 1000 minus 100. For the rest of the numbers, think only in terms of addition. If you didn't get it, don't worry too much at this point, as we'll learn this trick as we go through some examples. Okay, let's okay. begin. Let's start with number 25. First thing you have to do is to write 25 in expanded form. So 25 can be written as 20 plus 5. Now number 20 doesn't have any Roman symbol corresponding to it, so we'll further break it down. So it becomes 10 plus 10 plus 5. Now each of these numbers have a Roman symbol corresponding to them. So finally 25 becomes XXV. Let's take another example, 77. First thing we have to do is write 77 in the expanded form, which is 70 plus 7. Since both 70 and 7 do not have any Roman symbol corresponding to them, let's further break them down. So it becomes 50 plus 20 plus 5 plus 2. We'll further break it down for the same reason we discussed before. That is, there are no Roman symbols corresponding to 20 and 2. So further it becomes 50 plus 10 plus 10 plus 5 plus 1 plus 1. Finally, each of these numbers have a Roman symbol corresponding to them. So 77 can be written as LXXVII. -I. Now let's take some examples which have number 4 or 9 in it. First one is 47. 47 becomes 40 plus 7 in its expanded form. Now remember the trick. Every time you see 4 or 9, write it in terms of subtraction. So 40 can be written as 50 minus 10. So 47 can be written as 50 minus 10 plus 5 plus 1 plus 1. Now how do you write 50 minus 10 in Roman form? Remember the rule of subtraction? If you have to subtract 10 from 50, you need to write x before l. So the number becomes xlvii. Now let's take a more complex example, 1947. 1947 can be written as 1000 plus 900 plus 40 plus 7 in its expanded form. Now remember the trick, 940 have to be written in terms of subtraction. So 900 can be written as 1000 minus 100 and 40 can be written as 50 minus 10. So 1947 can be written as 1000 plus 1000 minus 100 plus 50 minus 10 plus 5 plus 1 plus 1. Now 1000 minus 100 can be written as CM and 50 minus 10 can be written as XL. So finally 1947 becomes MCMXLVII. Now let's do some reverse exercises. Let's take the number LXVII. Let's write the decimal number corresponding to each symbol. So LXVII can be written as 50 plus 10 plus 5 plus 1 plus 1. Since each number on the right is smaller or equal to the number on the left, it's a simple addition. So we get the number as 50 plus 10 plus 5 plus 1 plus 1, which is equal to 67. Let's take another example. XCIII. Again, let's write the decimal number corresponding to each symbol. So it is 10, 100, 1, 1, 1. Now remember the rule of subtraction. If the number on the left is smaller than the number on the right, it has to be subtracted from the number on the right. Therefore, in this case, 10 has to be subtracted from 100. 
So the number becomes 100 minus 10 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1, which is 93. That's it for today. Thank you.